So you see the vapor, the smoke from the oil coming out? That should stop almost immediately. We're at 29.9 inches of mercury. And there's a lot of old timers with uh, analog gauge who go, oh, that's perfect. <clears throat> no, that's not perfect. And uh, there's a leak. So here's the micro, um, vacuum, god dang it, ultrasonic leak detector. So there's a panel in the way, but even with the panel in the way, <clears throat> high frequencies are very directional and they could be, they could ricochet or they could be blocked by things really easily. So let's see if I could see the lights here. Right about here. So I'm this far away. I start to feel the, uh, hear the leak right here. When I go right here, see this panel? This panel is blocking the sound. As soon as I come above the panel, it's, it's racing in my ears. So there's a vacuum leak down there. So go take that uh, expansion valve nut off of there. And I think we should get something for safety out here. Do you have rubber pads or something or you just hold it open? No, this is good. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so this picture, oh, what would you like bigger? There's an opening right there. That's where I'm trying to go. No, I can't hear it from there. So from a couple feet away, that leak right there, when he has that panel off there, from about three or four feet away, I could hear it inside the ear because this has an earphone. It's, it's in my ears. I can hear that leak coming from, even though it's 29.9 inches of mercury right now, I can hear that leak inside there because we're not going into microns. And if you had an analog gauge, you would never know that because microns tells you there's a leak, small leak, vacuum 29.9 on analog gauges. That's as good as you're gonna get. <clears throat> Then after that, I'll do it again.